problem this is a kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from mathematical induction so let's get started problem show that 2 plus 7 plus 12 plus so on plus 5 n minus 3 equals to n times 5 n minus 1 by 2 for all n belongs to natural numbers solution here we are going to use the principle of mathematical induction okay so let p of n be the given statement then p of n such that 2 plus 7 plus 12 plus so on plus 5n minus 3 equals to n into 5n minus 1 by 2. Okay. So, mathematical induction says that p of 1 is true and we have to assume that p of k is true and finally we show that p of k plus 1 is true that is Firstly, we'll prove the statement is true for n equals to 1 and we'll assume the statement is true for some k which belongs to natural numbers and finally, we'll prove the statement for n equals to k plus 1. Okay, so here we are given some numbers, first term, second term, third term plus so on plus nth term equals to n into 5n minus 1 by 2. Okay. So, this is considered as nth term, right? So, you have 5 and minus 3 as your nth term. If n equals to 1, 5 into 1 minus 3 equals to 5 minus 3, which is equals to 2. We'll get the first term. When n equals to 2, 5 times 2 minus 3 equals to 5 to the 10 minus 3 equals to 7, which is our sec second term. Likewise, when n equals to 3, 5n minus 3 equals to 5 times 3 minus 3 equals to 5 3 is 15 minus 3, which is equals to 12. Third term, right? Fine. So, let's prove the statement for n equals to 1. When n equals to 1, when n equals to 1, we'll take only the first term from LHS. Now coming to RHS, put n equals to 1. We'll get 1 into 5 times 1 minus 1 by 2 equals to 1 into 5 into 1, 5 minus 1 by 2, which is equals to 4 by 2 equals to 2. So here LHS equals to RHS. Therefore, LHS equals to RHS. From this, we can say that Statement P of n is true for n equals to 1, which means that P of 1 is true. Likewise, you can check for n equals to 2. When n equals to 2, we'll take the first two terms, that is sum of first terms from LHS. Sum of first two terms. 2 plus 7 equals to 9. Now coming to RHS, we have n into 5 1 minus 1 by 2 equals to, now put n equals to 2, simply substitute n equals to 2, this equals to 2 times, 5 2 is a 10 minus 1 by 2 equals to, now you can cancel 2 2, right? 10 minus 1 is 9. So, here LHS is equals to RHS. Therefore, LHS equals to RHS. From this, we can say that P of N is true for N equals to 2. Therefore, P of 2 is true. Likewise, you can check for N equals to 3, 4, 5 and so on, right? Now assume that P of n is true for some k 
which belongs to natural number. See here we have given for all n belongs to n, right? So we will assume that the statement is true for some k which belongs to natural numbers. Then p of k will be 2 plus 7 plus 12 plus sum of k terms, okay? Plus so on. 5k minus 3 equals to k times 5k minus 1 by 2. So this statement is true, right? Now to prove that the statement is true for k plus 1. That is for k n equals to k plus 1. So we need to consider k plus 1 terms. k term plus k plus 1 term will be 5 times k plus 1 minus 3. Okay. Since we have the sum of k terms equals to k by 5k minus 1 by 2. Right. Plus the last term will be as it is or we can simplify it. 5k plus 5 minus 3 this is equals to k times 5k minus 1 by 2 plus 5k plus 5 minus 3 is plus 2. Again you can write this as This is equals to 5 times, sorry, k times 5k minus 1 by 2 plus 5k plus 2, right? I have written the same step here. So now you can take the LCM. The numerator you will get. 5 times, sorry, k times 5k minus 1 plus 2 times 5k plus 2. So, this is equals to k into 5k, 5k square minus 1 into k minus k plus 2 pi is 10k plus 2 to the 4 by 2. This is equals to 5k square plus 10 minus k is, sorry, plus 10k minus k is my, plus 9k plus 4 by 2. Okay? 5k square plus k minus k is plus 9k plus 4 by 2. So, in the numerator you are having 5k square plus 9k plus 4, again you can split this 9k as 5k plus 4k plus 4 is equal to take 5k common from the first two terms. You will get 5k times k plus 1 plus take 4 common from these two terms, that is the last from the next two terms. 4 times k plus 1. Now you can take k plus 1 common from these two terms. You will get k plus 1 times 5k plus 4. Right? So now you can replace this by, that is the numerator by, k plus 1 into 5k plus 4. Denominator will be as it is. Okay, so you have to write k in terms of k plus 1, right? See, this is n, right? For n equals to k plus 1. Now, we'll change this k in terms of k plus 1 for n equals to. You need to get for n equals to k plus 1. 
Okay, we need to find RHS in terms of k plus 1. So that will consider 5k plus 4. 5 times k plus 1 is 5k plus 5, right? But you are having 4 here. Okay, so if you subtract 1 to this 5, then you will get 4. Okay, so now you can replace 5k plus 4 by 5 times k plus 1 minus 1. Okay, which is of 5n minus 1 form for n equals to k plus 1. Okay, so this equals to k plus 1 into 5 times k plus 1 minus 1 by 2 since 5k plus 4 is equals to 5 times k plus 1 minus 1. Okay, which is our RHS. Okay. Therefore, 2 plus 7 plus 12 plus so on plus kth term plus k plus 1th term is equals to k plus 1 times 5 times k plus 1 minus 1 by 2. So, this shows that the statement is true for k n equals to k plus 1. Therefore, this is a p of k plus 1, right? p of k plus 1. Therefore, p of k plus 1 is true whenever P of k is true. Thus, P of 1 is true and P of k plus 1 is true whenever P of k is true. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, the given statement that is P of n is true for all n belongs to natural numbers. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from mathematical induction in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.